All right, guys, there's a, currently a bad wildfire going on in Maui. As where I live in California, it's not even like it had, it's been like raining and stuff. So, but it was like 110 last week, but, but it's raining and stuff. Um, let's check it out. Found loss in Hawaii. More also, Floyd Mayweather just like uh, helps out 70 families with uh, homes that have lost their home, but wow. More than 50 people have been killed in wildfires with large. Wow. I mean, if you're in Hawaii, there's like, it's going to be hard to escape. You got water all around you guys, so pretty scary. Scale destruction. But wildfire is like no volcano or anything. This is kind of sad, like really sad, actually. I apologize. Like, come on now. I, I apologize for that, but. On Maui, including. More than just kind of sad. In the destination town of Lahaina, which is now reduced to ash. And as we hear from survivors tonight, describing harrowing escapes from those flames, there are now more resources heading to Hawaii and a disaster declaration. Look at it. It's like an apocalypse, man. Like, it's not. Not anything I'd like to have happen. There's like wildfires that happen in California, but thankfully we don't. It's much easier for like rescue efforts. Uh, but yeah, to man. Clear the way for federal help. What we saw was likely the. Definitely. Where's the National Guard in all this? You know, don't they usually help during these kind of situations? I feel. I feel for the families, guys. Largest natural disaster in Hawaii state history. It's still very, very hazardous in the burn areas. Things are falling every minute around us. Tonight, Hawaii's governor says the death toll could rise as search and rescue crews are working to find survivors. Thank you for joining us. I'm Edie Lambert. Magic, man. I and I'm Andrea Flores. We know that more than 1,000 structures have burned to the ground. A flyover of historic Lahaina showed entire neighborhoods destroyed. Boats in the harbor were... Get it, man. It's like, wow. Fire is pretty strong, bro. Scorched and smoke hovered. Thankfully, I live in a city where, like, there's not that many buildings concentrated at once, which is a good thing. Over the town, which dates back to the 1700s. It's the biggest community on the island's west side, and one man who was able to get away and get his family out of the flames describes just how much was lost. I tried to warn a lot, as many people as I could. We tried. Uh, there was a lot of uh, people like, I think it's just like so chaotic that nobody knew there was no phone connections. And as much as I was trying to save and, and, and let people know there was no options, I just had to go. I went and got my kids and we were stuck. And now. So what would you do in a wildfire situation, guys? Would you like leave the water running? Eventually, like, the fire is going to, like, cut cut off, like, the what? Like, it's just going to be too much fire if you stay in the house. you got to evacuate. I got the news that there's, like, so many friends that... I don't know if they made it. That's sad, bro, for real. My heart goes out to anyone that's going through this, man. Pretty scary thing. Just look at it. Destroy the community. Literally every single house on, uh, that I can see here is just not there. State, local, and federal officials toured the area tonight. The governor of Hawaii calling for community support. We are going to need to house thousands of people. It's our intent to initially seek 2,000 rooms so that we can get housing for people. That will mean reaching out to all of our hotels and those in the community. If you have additional space in your home, if you have the capacity to take someone in from West Maui. And they're asking um, residents to like house, uh, you know, evacuees, bro. That's, I've never seen that happen, guys, but. Please do. It, it, seems, it seems to be super dire, man. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let evacuees be, you know, enter into the house, guys, you know what I mean? Tonight, we're hearing from a Rockland family who has loved ones in Maui. They say some of them were in the path of the wildfires and they've lost their homes and their belongings. Guys, if you like, try to hide in the pool, would that work? But at least all of their family members are safe. No, I would not recommend it because like there will be like debris and stuff that falls in the pool. 
That's not the good. devastation on the island they once called home, they said, is really hard to process. Everything you ever had is gone. I mean, being alive is the number one thing, but still, yet you lost all your memories. All right, I, I, I have a, like a deep fear of having something like this happen for reals, bros. Stuff that they say everything is repeated. We have Austin Evans, and then they had his house burned down, and then another TikToker. It's like a live streamer. I don't know his name, but he's on TikTok. They had his house burned down, so that's super, super scary, bro. But not everything is replaceable. The family is encouraging everyone who is able to donate or volunteer to help people in Maui rebuild. We're getting our... But yeah, shout out Mayweather for helping out a bunch of families here, guys. Our first look at the historic Banyan tree along Lahaina's Front Street. It, it is still standing, but it is smoldering at its base. So this is the first that we've been able to see. Looks like a movie, bro. Like a movie scene almost. i never seen trees look like that, guys. Interesting. Here, Hawaii Senator Brian Schatz shared this video. It's like it's winter. Like, you know what I mean? There's no leaves. The banyan tree is more than 60 feet tall and is anchored by multiple trunks. It spans about an acre. The tree has been a gathering place in this community for 150 years. We also have footage from the National Guard. Sure, a lot died from like smoke in inhalation, so yeah, very scary. Showing man. helicopters dropping water on the fires. This was from yesterday when the National Guard says guardsmen dropped 150,000 gallons of water over those fires. We spoke with the senior policy advisor of the Western Fire Chiefs Association today who described this operation. They have, um, they have their own helicopters that they have bucket loads. They're looking at improving their air program, but they don't have fixed wing, okay? So they rely on the closest resource they go to is to the military and some of the other islands for other bucket dropping equipment. But that again, that takes time where versus on the continental US, a lot of that is just um, moments away versus what Hawaii has to deal with. And help for Hawaiians in a different form tonight with donations streaming in for those who lost everything. Truckloads of bottled water were unloaded today. I remember it was like hurricanes and they had a house and everybody in like auditoriums like a, a bunch of years back. Wow. That's so scary, bro. Maui also but in where I live in California, we, we do have to worry about those, but we also have to worry about earthquakes, guys. So boxes filled with blankets, volunteers are organizing the items to help families. And tonight, volunteers at Red Cross shelters are providing evacuees with a safe place to stay, food to eat, and of course, emotional support. We're teaming up with the Red Cross to collect donations for those efforts. You can help by scanning this QR code right now with your phone. All right, that's a QR code, guys. So let's read a few comments. Oh, they have disabled comments on this video. Hmm. I guess we'll just read a few comments on this other video, guys. Um, so darn tragic. I hope people were able to get their pets out, too. Pray that death toll isn't any higher. Where's the, sa uh, the safety of those still there? I'm so sorry for them, poor Maui. Yeah. This is devastating for reals, bro. I hate it when uh, natural disasters like this happen. Death toll is now 53, guys. Well. Wow. We need to invent, like, something that can better handle, like, taking down these kind of fires, guys. Like, for real. Just a giant bucket of water. Like, hopefully we get, you know, something that can handle any kind of, like, natural disaster like this. Or even, you know, man-made kind of disaster. But, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Check out KCRA in the description. I'll see you guys next one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm also doing my reactions live on Twitch. All the time, so come say hi, you're more than welcome, and I'll see you guys next time.